Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Excel gives you two tools that you can use to format spreadsheets. The first is the formatting toolbar. This is the toolbar that appears by default in Excel below the standard toolbar and it contains buttons that allow you to change the appearance of your spreadsheet. So you can format your numbers in text, align cell content, merge multiple cells into a single cell, indent cell contents, and change the font or the fill color of the cells that are selected. So to use these buttons, you simply select the cell or cell range to which you want to apply the desired formatting, and then click the appropriate button in the formatting toolbar. Notice that the formatting toolbar is broken into six button groupings. The first section contains the font, which we use to change the font face, and also the font size. In the second section, we have B for bold, I for italic, and U for underline. And these are toggle buttons, so click them to turn them on, and click them to turn them off. The third section contains the left align button, center align, right align, and merge and center. And these are typically used to control the alignment of contents within cells. If you select multiple cells or a cell range, you can click the merge and center to merge the selected cells into a single cell and then center align the contents. I'm going to just undo that. The next section deals with buttons that we use to set number formatting. So we can select number cells and click the dollar sign button to apply currency style. Or you can select a decimal entry and click the percent style button to multiply it times 100 and put a percent sign on it. We also have the comma style, which is used to place comma separators in your longer numbers. So if we had a thousand or ten thousand, we could select it and click comma to apply comma separators in two decimal points of precision, but no dollar sign. You also have two buttons that we can use to increase or decrease decimal precision. So for example, we could select these cells and click increase decimal to increase decimal precision display, or decrease decimal, which decreases it. Also note that if you decrease the decimal, watch for rounding in the display. So for example, this cell right here contains 8.25, which we can see in the formula bar, but it displays 8.3. The next section increases or decreases the indentation of the content in the selected cell or cell range. The last section contains the buttons that allow you to apply preset borders, change the fill color of a cell, or change the font color of a cell. Notice that some of the buttons have the small black downward pointing arrows to their right. If you click on one of these small arrows, a submenu will appear from which you can specify more specific button settings. So for example, if you click the drop down arrow to the right of the fill color button, it will display the palette of colors in a drop down menu from which you can select your new fill color. Once you change a color, the color strip underneath the paint can, or the letter A for font, will then change to reflect the new selection. And in the future, all you need to do is select the cell and click the button to apply the same look. How you apply cell formatting is always the same. Select the cell, click the buttons. Also note that if you apply numeric formatting, 
and wish to later change it back to a general numeric formatting, you can use the Format Cells dialog box, which we'll cover next. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.